Hey guys, this is Ben, or Fissitron as my YouTube screen name says, and this is going to be my first Minecraft video, and first video on YouTube overall I guess, here's my mind. And I started this world before I got a YouTube account, so as you can see I've done a lot of work. This is my house, my main room, got some cakes there, got my storage chests, my bed. I like painting so I put a lot of paintings up. And I guess I'll show you around my world. I'll start with the mine because it's right here. Pretty deep. Got a nice water drop there. My friend Jeff told me about that, along with Sam Lewis. You might know them as LG30F and the Prodigy. Got my mine cart, and my mine rails here, going down to the mine. And right here. Stop there. Oh gosh! Oh. And I'll catch up with that later. But right here you've got. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm mixing some stone. I'm going to make a castle. But these are my furnaces and my chests. I know I don't need this many chests down here, but it makes it symmetrical. And I like symmetricality. So I decided just, what the heck, might as well keep them here. Okay. Got a crafting bench there, just in case I run out of tools, I need to make some. And down here. Oh, God, no! As you might have noticed, I'm still kind of a noob at this game. I guess you can't really ever be great in Minecraft, but. I just started a couple of weeks ago, so bear with me. It's my mine. As you notice, the torches are all on the left side of the wall. A trick taught to me by my friend Sam Lewis, the prodigy. That way, I can just follow the right side of the wall, like so, to return to my minecart. And it prevents me from getting lost. And I got lost a lot before he told me that. But yeah, it's a pretty big, pretty big mine. It goes down really far in that direction. I actually tested how far I was away from my house by just digging straight up to the surface. And it is it is an impressive mine, I think. Just go back to the surface now. I made that little stop up there by my crafting table and uh, well my crafting bench and my furnaces so that I can stop there and get supplies if I need to. Oh gosh, it didn't stop. Well then. Huh. I'll do some experience on that later. But to the surface. I wish the notch would make climbing ladders faster, or at least have like a sprint button for it, because it can take a while. And I know there's some water ladder thing where you have water around you or something and you go up really fast, but it doesn't seem like I don't have space in this little area. But I'll have to try that when I make a castle. I might make it in the sky. But yeah, that's my house. As I showed you before, I got a pressure plate there. I don't like opening doors myself because I'm a lazy fool. Home sweet home is what the sign says. Got my upper floor, which I didn't know what to do with it, and then the new update came out. Boom! Enchantment table. I'm only a little two, as you can see, with a little green two there by my health bar, my food bar. Because I died recently. But you know, I'll go mob hunting and I'll get that up. Got lily pads so you can jump across the water because my house is on a lake. My tree farm. See? Tree farm. It's all birch because it only grows in one straight line, which I think is just makes it a lot easier to chop down. And then here you've got my pool. I made of a lot of different colored wool. It's all groovy. Got some glowstone to light it up and then birch on the bottom because of the white. Nice contrast with the colors. This is the ladder to my diving board. Again, lit up by glowstone. That was LG30F's idea because it was really dark in here at night. And when I went to go for a night swim, I could not see, so I lit up with glowstone. Here you have my diving board of patrioticness. It's all red, white, and blue wool. Again, I really like wool because it gives you colors, and I feel like that is just awesome. It's just not brown like dirt or gray like stone. You get you have color. I like the glass bottom too because you can look down and behold your fate. Oh gosh! Boom! Perfect landing right in the center. Look at that. But yeah, I like the diving board. I mean, you can't really feel the thrill of it being a avatar, but you can get the general idea. And this is a staircase that goes to the rest of my world. I'm trying to get the ivy to grow down all the way like this so that it looks like a veil you're going through. Boom! Look at that. Pixel art. I like Mario. I like Minecraft. I like Star Wars. Pretty big nerd, I guess. <laughs> I like particle physics too, so if you guys ever want to chat about that in the comments, I would just be ecstatic. But yeah, I got the mushroom, the star, and the fire flower there. I know it's not... Yeah, but yeah, I like it. 
Got my chicken coop there. I really like in the new update too how you can make animals follow you with wheat and that you can breed them. So my livestock have just gone up exponentially. You got my cows in here. Oh, oh baby cow. Hey, baby cow. Close the gate. My little farm building. This was the chicken coop on that side and then the cows on that side. There's a little wall dividing that there. But I have so many now that I just had to make it all one cow and then make a chicken coop. This is buckets. At least we're milking it. See, there's some milk there. I'll just throw this egg at a cow. Hiya! They're in a frenzy. Well, let's get out of here now. Close the gate. I'm sorry, Mr. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You never saw that. But yeah, this is my sugarcane field. Got my melon patch and my pumpkin patch. Again, with the new update, you can get melon seeds. You got my wheat. Haven't had to harvest it in a while, though. And then this is my crowning achievement in this town. It's my Pokemon Stadium. With nether portal entrances. I like it. I really do. It's just... You can see how much of a nerd I am based on this, but I just love it so much. It took me a while to get all the stone, to get all the wool, and the obsidian. This is a VIP seat, so I'll show you those, but... I just love this. I will just go in here sometimes, just look around, and wow. Yeah, PC, it's all the same over there. And there's also a problem that I need your guys' opinion on. I'll show you this, of what I should add next to this. As you can see, there's this tunnel back here behind the seats. And you know in normal sports stadiums, all like stores and stuff back here? I don't know if I should put in that or what I should put back there. I also need to make the texture of the pathway here symmetrical throughout. But tell me what to put there, and I'll do it comment. You got here some stairs to VIPs. Then, this is an undeveloped part of my world. I might put the castle over here. That's not natural. I made that because I needed to get somewhere. But, yeah. I'll, oh, I'll show you the greenhouse. See that up there with the giant mushrooms? That's my greenhouse. I really like the giant mushrooms. I think they, I think they look cool. And I like how um, the new update, you can get enchantments from the enchantment table. And one of the enchantments is called Silk Touch, and it actually lets you mine the exact block. Like, you know, when you mine dirt, bam, the grass falls off? Well, with the Silk Touch enchantment, you can actually get the grass still on top of the dirt. So, like, that can make you have grass in the nether and stuff, which is pretty crazy. But, yeah, giant mushrooms symmetrically placed throughout. You got your roses. I used a lot of bone meal here to make it look all foresty on the outside. You got your tree, your bushes, and then your patterns of roses and dandelions and some mushrooms. I actually made that tree by hand. Not a big feat, but you know, just telling you it didn't grow perfectly like that. I just placed the wood and then used shears to get the grass or the leaves. And I placed them. You may have noticed I'm peaceful right now, just to show you guys around. I won't be on later videos, but just to give you guys the gist of my town, I figured I would. And then the last but not least is the Sentinel Tower, which I will show you. Like my friend Jeff said, or LG30F, every town needs a lighthouse, sentinel tower, or something, so you can always find your way back. It lights it up at night, and... Because I used to get lost, and I would go exploring in my world very beginning when I started playing Minecraft, and then I made that, and now I can just, I can just see it. So yeah, not very designed, but, you know, it's got a spiral staircase on the inside. I like that. My friend Hogan Olofsson, you might know him as the business skier if you watch any other Minecraft videos, helped me make my spiral staircase. And this platform used to look over and the sun set right there, but now it sets right there, the same direction the clouds move in, so that pissed me off, <laughs> to say the least. Now this is just looking out nothing, I guess, but you know. It's got netherrack, so when I explore that way, at least I can see that. But yeah. And my castle will be a lot cooler than this. This is just basically a tower. My castle will have a lot of design on it when I make that next. I'll make some videos about my quest to get the castle. But yeah, that's pretty much my world. Got the waterfall there to the pool. You can overlook my house from here. It's not very attractive. It's mostly just processed wood, but you know, it's a starter house. Once I move away from this town and go somewhere else in this world, then I'll make a better house. I'll jump into the pool. Boom! I'll show you guys my viewing room for my waterfall. I don't know how much time has gone by, but 
I gotta avoid getting over 15 minutes, or like 13 minutes, because that's how much fraps will record before it separates the videos. I don't like combining videos. But yeah, I put torches behind the waterfall so that you can see it at night. It's all illuminated. I like torches a lot. I place them everywhere. But yeah. So, please like my video and subscribe if you like my commentating. If not, just post some tips that I could use on how to be a better commentator. Subscribe, like, comment on anything you'd like me to do. And yeah, see you next time.